What's up guys? We're inside a PlayStation home checking out a new location called Acorn Meadows Park and as you can see we are in a park and there is a train! There's a train going around. This is actually one of my favorite locations as of yesterday. I've been playing it like non-stop. Um, you can actually like run around there's different areas you can go to like here. This is like the pedal boat. The pedal boat hire. It's a point of interest and what you do is you can Go around to different areas. You can actually buy like coffee and I gotta find the dog park. There's, there's actually a map. This place is, is huge. Well, it's not huge, but I, I feel like it's bigger than most other places. Here, here's a map. So we're gonna go to the notice board and it's gonna tell you the message of the day. There is none. Then you can see your profile. It tells you what level you're at and how many XP you need to get to the next level. And it tells you your challenges and your progress with this challenge, with these challenges. So. It says, hey big spender, spend 1,000 acorn vouchers in the park. So my progress <laughs> is low. I think I've only spent maybe 200. Um, and it tells you all the challenges that you've completed. And it tells you all the challenges you need to do. So, you can even go to the map, which you can transport yourself to different places. So we're going to transport ourselves to the dog park. I want to show you guys that. It's pretty cool. Alright, we're at the dog park. So, as soon as you come into Acorn Meadow Park, they actually give you $200 worth of vouchers. And what you can do with it is buy whatever you want. So what I did, and I recommend doing, is to get yourself a little companion by coming over here and clicking on the park dog vendor. Once you do that, you will buy different kind of animals that they have. Here you can see what they have. I have zero acorns because I spent them all on my doggy. But see, look, there's a check mark next to this little cute little white terrier. I bought one because it looks like my little doggy. He's right there looking out the window, getting ready to bark at cats. But you can buy any of them. And it's so cool. So you get a free companion. So I recommend doing that. So let me take out my bad boy. I named him Boo after my dog, Boo. So we're going to get him out. He's in my inventory. Where are you at, Boo? I have a pug, I have a puppy dog, I got a sack boy, I got a horse, and there's boots, Highland Terrier. And now you can run around in here. So right after I bought the dog, one of the challenges was to um, spend a half hour in here. And I was like with my dog, and I was like, I'm going to spend a half hour with my avatar dog and not with my real dog. So what I did was, I left my avatar, <coughs> excuse me, I left my avatar in here and I went outside and like walked my dog for a half hour, so... That's what you could do, but be careful because sometimes you can sign out of PlayStation Home. They're tricky when you don't, when you're not like using it or not moving the controller. I feel like they know, and then they kick you out. So, oh, there's my dog. He's getting mad. He's like, "Mama, you are playing with your avatar dog again, aren't you?" <laughs> Little man, sorry, cat. He gets upset. No cats on this block allowed. All right. So what you could do is you could run around and just explore this vastly awesome park that is here. There's ice cream parlor, there's coffee places, the hot dog stand, there's a bike store. Um, there's lots of things. And what I like to do is I look around because there's points of interest, like just staying around and doing something or doing nothing. Um, you'll unlock stuff. So try and find races. Try and walk around. Interact with different things. And look at that girl. Why is she running like that? It's like, so funny. So as we make our way across this bridge, be careful you don't get hit by any trains. See, there's trains coming. But get across safely. Ooh, Papa Wheelies. See, here we go, we have a hot dog vendor. And look, you can buy a hot dog. It costs five, but I don't have enough money, so I can't do it. And then uh, we can come over here to the bikes. But as you complete more challenges, you all unlock different challenges, you'll unlock different things, and you'll also um, gain XP, and when you up your level, you'll receive more acorns, or you can even go to the store and buy more acorns. So, whichever way you want to play, that's how you can do it. Here you go. Here's all these uh, different um, BMX bikes that you can freestyle your way around Acorn Park. So, some of them are 200, some of them are 20. It's pretty cool. So guys, definitely check out Acorn Meadows Park. It's my new favorite place. And if you're looking for me, you can find me in Acorn Meadow Park disobeying the law.